Hi guys, welcome to another great show from Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. My name here is Bob, as you probably well know by now. Well, today I'm gonna, I got a list of things I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over the uh, vaccine, the Moderna, Madeira vaccine, I forgot what name it is. Uh, Global Shave Clubs, we've been talking about that the last couple uh, times. And I got a couple messages from other people. It was really kind of interesting about blooming. You know, when I put the water in the, the, the soap pucks. And the other one is uh, uh, a new website I'm starting, just for the heck of it, like I haven't got enough to do. So uh, let's go over what I'm going to use today. I'm going to, uh, I dug this out because uh, the Gillette's been on my mind the last few shaves, as you probably know. But I used this before, the King C Gillette. It's a cool razor. It's okay. Uh, it comes in a kind of a nice goldish blue, dark blue package. And I always forget there's a package of razor blades right in here. So I just just remembered that. Okay. I just dropped my towel. Be right back. Oh, that wasn't long. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's the razor I'm going to use. And let's take a look at it. What it looks like. It's a three-piece razor. It's got a long handle. I like shorter handles, but hey, it's got a long handle. And uh, the knurling on it. It looks kind of cool and smooth here. I think you would have to be kind of careful when it, if the handle gets wet, it could slip. But it's got a kind of, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's, I think it's laser etched on the top, uh, the Gillette symbol. Kind of cool. I think, I don't know how many they put these out. You can find them in drugstores. I'll put a link down below. But And this has a piece of uh, paper that comes in here. This here was attached, this paper here was attached like this. I almost forgot to take it out. I gotta play with it to get it out. But they said remove paper. Why they put it in there, I don't know. Just They just did. I've never seen another. Well, the, I think there was one other razor I got a long time ago that had that. All right, let's move on here. I'm gonna use a pole silver blade, extra stainless. There's no label on it, but I'm, this will be the second usage of it. So I took it out. This is not. You like the way I, I print? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's drop this in here. There's a little bit of overhang, and I'll go over that with you in a minute. I like overhangs. I think there's overhang. Oh, very minimal. Let me put this thing together, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a closed comb razor, three-piece. It's heavy. Okay. Now, you can see there's just a little bit of overhang. Maybe you can see it on this side better. Right here and down here, of course it's on both sides. Not gonna be just on one side, so. <laughs> there you have it right there, okay? Uh, soap I'm gonna use, I dug it out, I'm gonna use the Perazzo, Perazzo cream soap. Comes in this box and everything's, not not too much in English here, but it comes from Italy. Of course it's Italy, Italian and Spanish, and I think French. But uh, maybe they don't like us or something, but it's not in English. This is the tube it comes in. I've already taken a little out and I put it in this bowl. I'll be mixing it. And what I'll be using to mix it will be the uh, Razor Rock Pliss Off. Not Piss Off, Pliss Off <laughs> brush. It's a synthetic brush. Why I said that, I have no idea. But hey, read it yourself and see what you think. Is that? Can you read that now? Okay. Anyway, it's the Pliss Off blade. Uh, not blade, but uh, see, it got me all confused now. Brush. All right, we're gonna uh, mix this up here. Uh, I kind of lost my thoughts here. All right, I, it's wet already, so I'm just gonna put it in here. We'll see how we, we'll see how this whips up here. Hope you guys are doing fine. It's cold today. Gosh, it's. I think it's. I looked at my uh, phone and the temperature was like nine degrees this morning. She maybe you're not supposed to. No, I think you're. I was thinking maybe you're not supposed to put this. My maybe you're not supposed to put this in a. I've used it before. I'm, I'll gather my thoughts here in a minute. But maybe you're not supposed to use it with a brush. But let's whip this up and see if we can get a little ladder. A little, little little lather. My mouth isn't working right today. Oh, I've got about a week's. Oh, there it's coming now. I've got about a week. If you can see my beautiful face with the whiskers about a week's worth. 
See my R7 ball cap? All my companies basically start with R7. R7 Investigations. And my new website will be R7 Scooters. And how on earth did I come up with that idea? Well, well I'm mixing this. Every year I go to the air show up in Wisconsin, to the uh, EAA, they call it, or Experimental Aircraft Association, because I I've made my own gyrocopter a couple times. I made some airplanes for uh, Kurt Johnson, test flew them, and I taught him how to fly that. Anyway, this is about what it looks like. We'll set that in, uh, for right now until I wash up. So, here's the story. Let me turn my hat around here. There you go. Uh, I got to talk to you about why I, I, I'm thinking about starting an, an electric scooter. A few years ago, I had uh, pneumonia. And I was in the hospital for five days, out for three, and, and then back in again for another five. And I had COPD, be part of that. And about a year ago, I had uh, I was put in the hospital again for influenza A, not for COVID. And each time you have uh, like pneumonia or influenza A or influenza or whatever, it does it puts a mark on your lungs. In other words, it, it, it reduces the, the volume that you can breathe in and out. It really never gets any better. So I don't smoke anymore. I used to. But uh, so I'm up walking there. Last time I went, it was two years ago, I think, at Oshkosh. And it's a, I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but it's huge miles and miles you wind up walking and it's really hard for me to walk long distances I kind of run out of breath it's getting a little better now but so I decided that if I get a handicap sticker and I could get a scooter or some type of uh, a, I don't want a wheelchair but something I could um, move, maneuver around I, I talked to some other people and saw them up there and some of the guys had scooters I said oh that might be an idea so I started looking up scooters and boy it's really big around here all right let's put this on so as i was researching different scooters i was thinking about buying one but before i do i gotta call them eaa and try to get a handicap sticker where i could actually use it on the airfield and uh so in my research i said wow i never realized there were so many different types of scooters so i said well that'd be a cool start a website but there are so many different kinds and there are some websites out there that are just huge on scooters these electric ones and, and some of them go 50 60 miles an hour I don't want to go that I don't want to go that fast 15 miles a mile or maybe 20 tops for me so what I want to do is I want to narrow my niche down to uh, maybe cruisers for old people or scooters for old people like me the ones that uh, they're not racing, but they're more uncomfortable, more comfortable. So I found one. It has a range of like, oh, 60 miles almost bef between charges. Anyway, that's what I'm going to start doing. I got to do some research on it. I might even get one. I don't know. You know, I'm going to be, a couple of days, I'm going to be 78. I don't know when too many 78-year-old guys that are driving, riding scooters. Why not, right? So, like I haven't got enough to do. Oh, it's going on nice. Oh. All right. It smells good. I've used this soap before. It's really nice. It's uh, not overpowering. Let's see how we do with this. I see it right already. I can tell you, I'm going to have to turn this razor over quite a few times because the whiskers are pretty uh, long. It's all right. Yeah, it's going to take it slow and easy, but this is a nice razor. I guess it came out, 
I don't know, a year ago or so with on a limited edition. Although I still see them in the store. Somehow I nick myself right there and I don't know why. So that's my story on the scooters. Whiskers are long. I'm probably slurring my words. I don't want to keep my mouth open when I'm doing this. Cut my tongue off. Of course, that may not be a bad idea. Ah, oh, began to hurt. Probably should have used a newer blade. All right. I told you I got that first injection. COVID. There's two in the series. And I was debating whether I wanted to take the second one or not. And what would happen, or do I get any protection from only one? Well, the short answer is yes, you do get protection from one. Wow, what did I do here? Look at that. For a close comb razor, I think uh, between 1 and 10, as far as aggressiveness, I'd say it's about a 7 or 8. It's not, it's not uh, super aggressive, but definitely it is. You've got to take it easy. Because how do I know that? It's the way the blade feels. All right, look a little better. All right, let's go to number 2 here and wash my face again with soap. Hear my clock. See, I can't hear it from this end. And you can hear it check. I'm mean, half you guys, I can hear you snoring. <laughs> Fall asleep. <laughs> Listen to that damn clock. I used to move it. I don't move it, but every time I look at my videos and I, I edit them, I hear that damn clock tick, and I say, oh, man, i got to move it sometimes. But I think I'm so used to it, and I just leave it there. That's my symbol. Okay, we're talking about the uh, vaccination. See, I gotta come with stories because just to talk about shaving, it's it's interesting. But hey, I don't talk to many people throughout the day, so I gotta talk to somebody. Ah, uh, the Madura, I think it's Madura vaccine. It's like ninety-five or something percent if you get both protection if you get both the injections. But if you only get one, I read it, you only get 84%, which is still better than nothing. And uh, the reason I'm considering not getting a second one, because uh, I should have thought of this before, but, you know, sometimes I'm really brain dead. Uh, you got to sign all these documents when you, before you get it, that you have to give your rights away. You can't sue the drug company in case you wind up with losing an arm or something, or you foam with the mouth or whatever. Uh, so they're protected. They get a certain amount of immunity. Well, full immunity, actually. And then the second thing is, you, it's all over the place. It's an experimental drug. And you have to kind of remember that this whole nonsense started a little over a year ago. But And they, let's say they started about a year ago trying to come up with a drug, so a vaccine, rather. And... Uh, but they didn't have it right out of the box. In other words, they had to put it together to test this, to test that. And finally, they came up with something. Probably about, 
out of 12 months, maybe two, three months ago, they came up with a final product. Normally, they would do is test it for years on animals and then people. And then when it comes out, they don't say it's experimental because it's been tested. But you have to sign a document, and you'll find out if you get it, that you have signed documents understanding that it is experimental. And that tells me, well, they don't have to tell me. I know by the, the length of time that it's been out that they haven't fully tested this on animals or people to learn, find out what the long-term effects are. Now, so I was going to say, well, I'm not a doctor, but I am. <laughs> so, um, you want to take your, you know, do all the study yourself, make your own decisions. I'm not saying don't get it. Uh, just be cautious. Understand what you're getting. Because most of the people, oh, they just blindly go in and get it. And it's like, oh, you don't know what's going to happen a year or two years from now. Hopefully it's okay. What am I doing? I should have gone this way. Did I go this way? I don't even remember, guys. Oh. So I get talking and distracted. All right. Oh, I really cut myself. Sometimes you hear me slur my words. It's not that I have a stroke, it's that I'm trying to shave at the same time I'm talking. Alright. That's better. I think I went sideways. So that's, a, that's an end of, Somebody made a comment. They didn't know if, what would happen if you just took one. Well, you do get a certain amount of protection. With the one I had, the Madura, I guess it's called... Uh, you get about 84% protection with one. If I get the second, if I choose to get the second one, then it jumps up in the 90s. So uh, let's leave that subject and move on to something else. I got a list here. Oh, a couple of you guys made a, a comment. Remember, I've done it in the past. I think the last one we talked about a hard soap. And did I, I put it in my cup here and I put water on it. It's called Blooming. First time I heard that was from Paul H., the word blooming. And one of my viewers, and I'm sorry, I forget, I just don't have the name right now, uh, stated that what happens when you bloom, it actually takes some of the quality of the soap out. So it sounds like it, you know, he's right. I never heard that before. So, hey, I'm new at this, so... Learn something new every day. And also, if you get a, one of these pucks, you know, soap pucks, you can put that just like the, you get the, uh, hold on a second, I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, I this think. body shave Nivea. Oh, like this here. In this one, you roll on, you put it directly in your face. Okay, well, you can do the same thing with the, the pucks. Just hold it and put it on. And that should work fine. So if you don't have a brush or you don't have your mixing bowl with you, you can use that. So those are a couple of tips that I got from you guys, and I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we're going to go up this time. This blade is shot. This is actually painful. All right, that's a couple of salt box blooming. Oh, I'll tell you about my new website. Okay, last thing I'm going to talk about is Global Shave. I got a lot of comments. I think 80, 90% of them said, take your money. Basically, paraphrasing, take your money and run. And I had told you before I had some of the other razors I bought from them, which were fine, never had a problem with it. Uh, 
I'm not happy with the shave. I still have a lot of whiskers left. Maybe it's a blade. This is the uh, second time I use this blade. It should be should be good, but it's not. So if it's not the blade, I know the cream is okay because I've used it before. Maybe it's a razor. All right, where was I? Oh, global shave. Couple of razors, I had, I had no problems with them. And when I got this razor, you know what the problem was? The, I had to oil the hell out of it to get it to work right. And then I noticed the chrome plating on it. I think they've already had it done in China. It was not the greatest. That little center bar down the center started a little areas bubbling. You can see it with the naked eye, and also on one of the barn doors, the same thing. Uh, for that much money, you should have had almost a perfect razor. Okay, let me have one little bit around the neck yet. But the thing was, things happen with any type of machine or razors. And you learn from them to say, like, oh, you got a bad razor. This, you know, this is happening. Call the company that did the plating and say, hey, straighten up or we're not going to buy any more of the, your plating services. Uh, so I don't know if that occurred or not. Probably not. Because what you do is try to correct the product. If you make a mistake, you correct it. No big deal. Happens all the time. Everything. Cars, guns, whatever you're buying. So you got two issues there. You had one issue with a product and the other issue with a company. And I'm supposed to do the neck and I did the whole face. That's all right. I'm not done with my story yet. So there's two issues. One was with the product or the razor and the other one's with the company. How they handle it. Well, we know there's a problem with the razor. And by some of the comments that you guys left, I'm not the only one that had difficulties. Yet the company said there were very few difficulties. So take that for what it's worth. So this is the third video. Now I've talked about this razor, not in the best, best way, I guess. And I'm sure the company would like to have me shut up about it. But if they would have sent me, when I first wrote to them and told them about it, they said, we'll send one out for you. And you know what? For your trouble, we're, we're going to send your money back. And the last two or three videos I made on this razor would have never come up. I would have given it a good review. And it would have been done and over with. There was still, still a lot more razors. But they didn't do that. So for the few pennies it would have cost them, they would have gotten rid of all my negative quote unquote comments or discussion on this. And maybe they haven't learned to do that yet. You, you got to have good customer service because you lose your reputation and your trust. It's gone. You never get it back, period. But anyway, most of you guys said, you know, just get your money back. But I said I wanted to be fair. So I said, here's what I'm going to do. I wrote, wrote him and I said, you know what? He did apologize at the very end. He should have, I read that letter to you. He should apologize in an opening statement. Because usually what you say when you write somebody opening statement, the most important things are up front or in the first sentence. When I write an article for any of my posts, like in walkowner.com, if I'm writing about walks, specific type of walks, I put the most important stuff up front in the first sentence, the first paragraph. That did not happen. It was at the very end he apologized. At least he got an apology. And maybe he hadn't learned that yet. I don't know. So uh, I told him, I said, I'll give it a second chance. And he wrote me back. He said, oh, good. He says, I think you'll like it. Well, whether I like it or not is my decision. 
it's not based on what somebody else thinks I should uh, say about their product. So I can tell you one thing, when I get the razor, I'm gonna do another evaluation on it, but I'm gonna be really anal about it. Man, I'm gonna take that thing apart. And the reason I'm gonna do that, he already knows he's got a dissatisfied customer here. And if it were me, if I were him, I would make damn sure that that razor that I sent to me, Robin Hood or Bob, was flawless. So I'm gonna be checking the chrome plating, the whole mechanism, if it's not right, guess what's gonna happen? <laughs> no third chances, man, you get two, that's it. Three of them, you're out. I'm gonna want my money back, and you know what? He can pay the shipping, because to send it back the first time was $27, half the price of a damn razor almost. So I already have enough <laughs> enough money into this damn razor, so I'm going to be very critical. If it's okay, it's okay, and then move on from that point. And I, what I might be wind up giving it away or something, so I'll make that decision later, or I might take it out and throw it in Lake Michigan. I don't know. We'll find out. So that was decision. I know some of you guys will say, "Oh, you stupid! You should have taken the money." Perhaps. But at least it gives me another chance to talk about the razor and I get another video out of it. All right. Oh, that feels better. Boy, that was really getting the bug, bug the hell out of me, all these whiskers. And I kept wanting to do a shave. I don't know what happened. Things got in the way and I didn't get it. And Linda was playing her music in the background and I... I don't want to tell her to turn the music off because I'm shaving because it picks up everything. This microphone, as you can hear the clock. All right, not too bad. I got a little nicky here. I'm going to put a stick on it. Hold on. I just got this. This is getting really small. There's hardly anything left, but I keep using it. It works. There you go. I think that's going to heal. I don't have to go to the emergency room for this. Oh, I feel kind of queasy looking at the blood. No, I'm not. I'm okay. All right. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some uh, witch hazel, but I'm going to switch. First time I've switched in a long time, so you guys are here to see this. I'm going to use Dickerson's Original Witch Hazel Pore Perfecting Toner. I don't even remember where I got it, but I have a link down below. Buy, buy it everywhere just about. It's unscented. Oh, yep. Smells like witch hazel. It feels like witch hazel. It really cleans the skin really nicely. Witch hazel, by the way, is really, uh, really good. It says 100% natural toner. Refreshes the skin and refreshes the pores. Uh, removing excess oil, dirt, makeup. Well, I don't know where makeup. Uh... It is made using sustainably harvested certified organic witch hazel plants that are distilled for purity and performance, creating a signature botanical, botanical, blah, blah, blah. Why would you want an organic witch hazel? You're not going to drink it. Uh, maybe because you put it on the skin. I don't know. All right. Uh, let's move on here. This After shave, I'm going to use a CAD. Uh, this is... <laughs> I always mess this name name up. Artisan accoutrement Phoenix, P A D Phoenix Artisan accoutrements. This is really great stuff. If you ever tried it, you got to give it a whirl. I don't use it that often. I'm trying to save it. It's so nice. And again, the opening on that is pretty big. Oh man. A little tip for you guys. You know, as you get older, what happens? Your big toe keeps growing. Your ears get bigger. If you see, ever see movies with guys that are in their 90s, they have huge ears sticking out here. They look like, wait a minute, like like that, you know. Like a taxi cab going around a corner with both, both doors open. But that's just natural. It's nature. Oh, the uh, balm I'm going to use is the Pacific Shaving Company. This is, this is a smaller, I don't know, they have a bigger container now for it. Caffeinated, aftershave, that arouses. Oh, okay. 
uh, antioxidant rich, blah, blah, whatever. Why they use, why it's caffeinated, I have no idea. There must be some chemical reason that it's caffeinated. Sounds cool. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but I really don't. I like this stuff, though. I like their shaving lotion, too. I put a little bit here. You want to moisturize the skin because a couple of reasons push up. When you get older, your skin uh, dehydrates and also the process of shaving, you're taking a lot of oils out. And when you use the, the uh, uh, it'll come to me, witch hazel, that really cleans the oil out of it. So you want to put that back in. You need the, for the elasticity of the skin. Okay, that's fine. All right. Let's go. Uh, I was probably just talking about something else, but I forgot. Okay, let's go kind of back to front here. I use a, a Pacific Shaving Caffeinated Aftershave Balm. They say cream balm. I don't know. After, it's a balm. I consider it a balm. Okay. And then the uh, CAD. What CAD stands for is I have no classic barbershop scent. There you go. Classic barbershop scent by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I'll get it right. It's an aftershave and cologne. It's really nice stuff. I use it for special occasions. And then uh, I did finally switch to Dickerson's just for a change. I think this will take me about 10 years to, to use all of this. Because I don't really use it for aftershaves. And then I switch off between different different kinds. So I'm trying this as a something different to change uh, as far as witch hazel. Uh... Oh yeah, okay, the shaving cream, I use a Perazzo. It comes in a box like this. I also have the green one, which is mentholated, but this is nice. It does a nice job. The blade I used was the Pulse Silver. This is the second use and the last time I'm gonna use it. The razor, or the brush razor, the brush I use is the Razor Rock Plissoft, Plissoft razor. It's a synthetic razor, brush. I got razor on the mind. And it's this it really did a nice job as far as the cream. And then I'll take this and we'll wash my hands with it. Why waste it, right? You could take a bath in this. It's it, this is really slippery. Arr, okay. Really slippery and it just kind of wanted to stick there. Boy, you could use this before surgery. Look at it. It really coats nice. And it does the same thing on your face. Let's see if I can get it off now. Oh, yeah. All right, the razor I used was the Gillette King C Gillette, rather. Just call it what it is. As soon as I get this off, it's turning out to be a job. Okay. I used the Gillette, what do they call us? Uh, double edged safety razor. This is a new one that came out this last year. It's I'd say it's about close to four inches. It's a heavy razor. As it turned out, once it's wet, this this uh, knurling here seems like a because you're holding it basically with two fingers anyway, the thumb and the forefinger, and this here just kind of grips it down below. It, it's okay. It turns out to be okay. It's a closed comb, three-piece razor. That's what I use. So uh, that was fine. I think the blade wasn't the best blade to use for that, uh, but it turned out pretty good. Cleaned up my my wrinkles, but oh, we're talking about ears. As you get older, you wind up. If you ever see old guys, they get a lot of hair, start growing out of their ears or out of their nose. I say, oh. But what I do is I cut it here, and I actually trim the nose here and the eyebrows. If I didn't take care of my eyebrows, it'd be one piece, and every time I blink, it would look like windshield washers in a car. So it's just some tips, and I'll show you. If you want to know, leave some comments how I how I do this and not screw it up especially up here and this I use the same tool so I'll talk to you later uh, when I get that razor I'm definitely gonna do another uh, video on that uh, razor by global shave clubs international and uh, I'm still gonna get a, a fat boy probably off of eBay and I'm gonna send it to Backroads gold and have them really go over it have them replate it it's gonna be better than new I know when I get it back he's done a couple razors for me already and they're great and by the way, he wrote me the other day, the one razor I brought for him, he doesn't have any more. So I told him, I said, if you want mine, let me know. I'll send it back to you. No big deal. So I only can use so many razors anyway. Anyway, thanks for stopping in. I have some other up in the corner someplace, other uh, videos that you can take a look at. Thanks for stopping in. I want to thank all you guys that subscribe to my website. 
And holy smoke, this is going over 35 minutes. This is a long video today. And those that give me a thumbs up, great. Those that are down too, I accept you also. Thanks for stopping in. Share this if you want to. And uh, we'll catch you in a couple days. Bye.